Many say the Saudis had it coming. The Americans trusted the Pakistani generals with the Afghan war and lost. The Saudis trusted a Pakistani general with the Yemen war and seemed to be losing. What will this do to Saudi Park defense ties then? The relationship, remember, goes back many decades. The emphasis is often on Pakistan's economic dependence on Saudi Arabia. But remember, defense and energy cooperation are the bedrock of bilateral ties. This report explores. Do you know the first country Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan visited after coming to power? Saudi Arabia. Do you know the first country every Pakistan Prime Minister visits after being elected? Saudi Arabia. That, in a nutshell, explains the close ties the two countries share. In fact, this bilateral relationship goes back several decades. Saudi Arabia is the wealthiest nation in the Muslim world. And Pakistan has benefited from close ties with the kingdom. Generous financial aid, supply of oil on deferred payment basis and assistance during economic crisis. There are other aspects to this relationship as well. There are around 2 million Pakistani expatriates in Saudi Arabia. The remittances these expatriates send home alone is worth over $5 billion. And it is the lifeblood of Pakistan's economy. We've been a brotherly country, a country and friendly country to Pakistan. And we've worked together in tough and good times. And we continue the same thing. Especially that Pakistan facing really great future today with a great leadership. Defence ties between the two countries have flourished since Pakistan helped Saudi Arabia reclaim the Masjid al-Haram in Mecca 40 years ago. Since then, Pakistan soldiers have been stationed in Riyadh. During the Iran-Iraq war, over 20,000 Pakistanis defended the holy sites of Islam in Saudi Arabia. Over 70,000 Pakistanis serve in Saudi Arabia's military. Saudi Arabia and Pakistan fought together against Soviet forces in Afghanistan a few decades ago. Pakistan trained Saudi Arabian soldiers. Pakistan even helped Saudi Arabia build the border with Yemen. Saudi Arabia is the largest importer of Pakistan's army. This relationship is one for all seasons and one that is heavily skewed towards defense cooperation. The only time Pakistan snubbed Saudi Arabia in the recent past was in 2015. The kingdom wanted Pakistan's support in its war against Houthis in Yemen. But Pakistan under Nawaz Sharif, with its significant Shia population, refused to participate in the war until recently. Historically, Pakistan has played it safe, appeasing both the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Islamic Republic of Iran. But recently, Islamabad has prioritized ties with Saudi over Iran. This is because Pakistan cannot survive without Saudi support. For its part, the kingdom puts its money where the mouth is. The $20 billion aid that Saudi Arabia pledged to Pakistan is not only a bailout, but also a future investment. I'm very happy that you came here because we have just signed these MOUs uh, and Pakistan and Saudi Arabia are now uh, taking this relationship to a level which we never had before. A relationship where uh, it will now be investment between the two countries which will mutually benefit from it. So is this relationship a symbiotic one? Not exactly. Bilateral trade is around $2.5 billion but it's skewed in favor of Saudi Arabia. Besides, the kingdom balances its relationship with both India and Pakistan. What's more, Saudi Arabia has the key to Pakistan's foreign policy too. Reports say that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman called Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan and asked him to tone down the anti-India rhetoric after India's Kashmir decision. In simple words, Saudi Arabia 
pumps Pakistan's economy, directs Pakistan's foreign policy and keeps the country afloat. In response, Pakistan fights Saudi Arabia's wars. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.